Hi everyone and welcome to the first literacy review video for this week. This lesson was about writing emails. First of all, we checked all the homework. We went through the homework that Lucy set you and we circled all the answers and underlined the part in the text that showed why these answers were correct or wrong. We then looked at the homework that I had set you about prepositions and we just checked that you'd got all those correct and I explained if someone got one wrong why it was wrong. Then I joked. I said more homework but it wasn't. We started on emails. We had a look at this blank email page we said send is how you send the email. From is your email address. To is the main person you want to send the mail to. And these are really important in the exam because if you choose to write an email, you need to remember to include these. The subject, what the email is about. Carbon copy if you want to send the email to many people or blind carbon copy if you want to send the email to many people but you don't want those people to see who you sent the email to. Attach a file if you want to send documents or pictures, those kind of things, or homework. The body of the email is what you want to say. We then looked at the greeting, how to start an email. We looked at the informal greetings Hi, hello, hiya, dear, plus the first name. We looked at formal greetings. Dear Mr. Miss is Miss and the surname. Dear company name. Dear professor, doctor, plus the surname. And we looked at how to start an email if you don't know who you are sending the email to exactly. Dear sir or madam, or to whom it may concern. We then looked at the example starting an email. We said the greeting goes on the first line. You need a comma, really important. You leave a gap. And then you start writing the email with a capital letter. We then looked at ending the email. The informal endings. See ya, see you soon, take care, lots of love. We looked at the formal endings. Kind regards, best regards, yours sincerely. And we looked at how to end the email if you don't know the person who you're writing to. Yours faithfully, which is British, and yours truly, which is American. We then looked at an example of this. We said the final line of the email. Then you leave two lines of nothing. You put the ending, don't forget the comma, and you put your name and surname if it's a formal email. I then said that I would send you an assignment with a blank email and I gave you the instructions of what to do. This was classwork. I said don't put your real email address, use your imagination and I told you this would be graded. Finally I set you some homework which was compact student book all of page 64. And that was everything. <laughs> Bye.